Hello, good morning South Africa and good morning India. I am Umang Vardoria, currently working as a C-Sharp front-end developer from the Pune office. I will be taking you through the consensus mechanism in a blockchain. So let's get into it. This is what we'll be covering, covering in today's talk. We'll start with an intro talk and types of mechanism and we'll be deep diving into the some of the mechanisms of consensus. Then we'll compare those mechanisms. We'll conclude talk with your questions. So here is the overall introduction, the features. The blockchain is, is provide these features like a decentralization spread power like friend making decision together ensuring transparency and resilience immutability this means uh, that once recorded data can't change like itching stone ensuring the trust security is rock solid like fortress guarding your data ensuring that trust without compromise transparency blockchain assures you that your data will cluster clear for everyone without any doubts of tempering. And lastly, consensus mechanism. To agree upon the state of blockchain, consensus mechanism come into the picture. By definition, consensus mechanism are protocol or rules that enables participants in decentralization network to agree on, a, on, on the validity of transaction and maintain a consistent state of the ledger. So next come to the importance. Now let's get to the importance. Integrity, vital for the integrity and security of the blockchain networks. Trust, it enables trustable transaction and consensus without the need for a central authority. Now let's move on to the functionality. It functions in such a way all participants in the network agree on the validity of a single transaction and the state of ledger prevent double spending and maintain a consistent and immutable record of transaction diversity a different consensus mechanism are designed to utilize consensus mechanism to validate transaction and secure their networks we can use uh, real world applications like supply chain management cryptocurrencies and voting systems in a real world application where uh, where systems can verify the transaction in supply chain management and uh, and we can ensure the traceability and immutability of the application and these are some types of the consensus mechanism first one is proof of work in proof of work miners compete to solve complex mathematical puzzle called hash functioning using computational power. In the proof of stake, the validator are chosen to create and validate new blocks based on the amount of cryptocurrency they hold. In delegated proof of stake, token holders vote for a limited number of delegates to validate transaction on their behalf. And in the practical Byzantine fault tolerance focuses on achieving consensus among a known set of participants through a series of round of communication and agreement. We'll discuss proof of work and proof of stake in depth in later portion. So let's start with proof of work. These steps demonstrate how, how proof of work consensus mechanism secures and maintains the integrity of blockchain by requiring miners to invest computational resources in solving cryptographical puzzles validate transaction and add new blocks to the chain. So the steps involve consensus mechanism are as follows. Okay, first off, miners gather up all pending transactions floating around the network. They are like digital detectives rounding up clues. Next, we have the pay, they, they package this transaction into what called a block, sort of like putting all pieces of puzzle together. Now comes the fun part finding the right nonce. It's a bit like trying to different keys until you find the one that fits the lock perfectly. Fourth, as miners search for these nonce, they are they are crunching numbers like crazy, trying to solve a mathematical puzzle. The, the tougher the puzzle, the more computational power they need. In the fifth step, adding adding the block to the blockchain. When miner finally cracks the code, finds the perfect nonce, they broadcast the block to the network, kind of like shouting Eureka to everyone. 
if the majority of network agrees to the block is legit it gets added to the blockchain and the miner who crack the puzzle gets rewarded with some shiny new cryptocurrency then it's back to the grind to the miners for the who start working on the next blocks building upon the chain and keeping the whole system running smoothly so that's proof of work a fascinating mix of detective work math puzzle and digital rewards all working together to keep blockchain safe and sound next up we have proof of stake this step gives a peek into how proof of stake keep our blockchain secure and running smoothly it's like a digital digital democracy and here is how it works so first is staking participants in the network also known as validators or stakeholders lock up some of their cryptocurrency as a stake it's like putting collateral to join the club then this validator stack turns proposing new blocks depending on how much cryptocurrency they have staked it's kind of like a lottery where the more you have staked the better your chances are being picked third is the validation part once validator get their shot at proposing a block they have got to do some serious detective work they are responsible for ensuring all the transaction in the blocks are legit and follow the network rules so no funny business are allowed in the fourth step consensus verification after the validators gives the thumbs up on their pur- purposed block they share it with the rest of the network but the show isn't over yet every validator must double check and ensure everything looks good if the majority of validator gives their stamp of approval the block officially added to the black blockchain it's like the community coming together and saying yep this is checked out and of course let's not forget the rewards the validators who put put in the work and help to keep network secure get a piece of pie they earn transaction fees and even some freshly minted cryptocurrency not a bad deal and the best part the whole process just keep on rolling 24 by 7 validators are constantly taking turns proposing and verifying blocks keeping our blockchain decentralized and trustworthy so that's proof of stake in action a fascinating blend democracy detective work and digital rewards all working together to keep our blockchain secure and thriving next up we have the comparison of proof of work and proof of stake we'll start by the participants so proof of work involves the miners who compete to solve cryptographic puzzles you can say hash while the proof of stake utilize the validators who can who are chosen based on their stake in the network second one is resource dependence proof of work requires significant computational resources for mining whereas the proof of stake relies on the amount of cryptocurrency held by validator so participants in the consensus process coin production miners uh, proof of in proof of work miners generate new coins as rewards for their mining efforts contributing to the inflationary supply of the cryptocurrency in contrast proof in proof of stake does not create new coins through the consensus mechanism as the rewards proof of work miners receive block rewards and the transaction fee for validating a transaction and adding the block to the blockchain in proof of stake validator only earn transaction fees of their participation in block validation they don't receive any block rewards and energy consumption and the biggest thing which stops proof of work a proof of work is known for its high energy consumption due to the computational work required for mining proof of stake on other hand offers a more energy sufficient alternative making it environment friendly compared to the proof of work to conclude all our talk in both of both proof of work and proof of stake are prominent consensus mechanism in blockchain technology each with its own strength and weakness proof of work characterized by its resilience and computational power and energy intensive mining offers high security decentralization uh, but at cost of significant energy consumption and global warming on the other hand proof of stake which leverage participants stake 
in the network to secure valid transaction provide a more efficient energy efficient alternative while still maintaining security and decentralization as blockchain technology continues to evolve and mature the choice between proof of work and proof of stake depend on various factors including environment environmental con- consideration scalability requirements and governance governance of preferences while proof of work remains the dominant consensus mechanism in many blockchain network proof of stake is gaining traction due to the potential for scalability improvement and reduced environmental environmental impact ultimately the selection of the most suitable consensus mechanism depends on the specific needs and the goal of blockchain project as the industry continues to innovate and explore a new consensus mechanism it is essential to evaluate trade offs and benefits of each approach to ensure the long term success and sustainability of blockchain network thank you everyone for being such an amazing listener